Hey everyone, it's MGems here, and welcome back to part two of Death Stranding. It's been a while since we played part one of this game, and I do apologize for making you guys wait so long for this next part, uh, but I did want to get my Outlast playthrough finished, so now that that is done, we can really dive into this game, and I'm really excited to play more of this. The comments in the first part seem pretty split. Some of you seem to really adore this game, and some of you, it is just not the game for you at all, so I'm really excited to experience some more of it and see if I'm going to end up liking it, because I am super intrigued by it so far, and I'm excited to maybe see some more of the story in this part. Um, basically in the last part we ended off with the president, also our mom dying, um, and now we have to transport her corpse to the incinerator up here, which is actually kind of uh, really dark. It's hard to tell if this terrain is like, if we are going to be able to traverse this terrain at all, like I can't tell how steep it is really from this map. This looks like steep rocky mountains over here. So we might have to cross over the river if we can. But then, I, I don't know, it doesn't really look like we can get up that way either. So we could go all the way around. That might be the safest option. And... We can always change it as we go, I suppose. So... I don't really know how precise I need to be with this, it's probably not very, as long as I have the general idea of where I'm going, I'm sure I'll be fine. <laughs> Maybe we can go in here? I don't really know. <laughs> Looks pretty rocky. And then hopefully we'll make it that far. It's a start anyway, we'll see how it goes. And, um, I didn't really look at, like, some of the other stuff on this map last time. Oh, okay, it tells us the risks. Okay, that's interesting. So, steep slope, cliff, and a river. <laughs> that sounds good. And then we can check our cargo orders and all that stuff. Cool. Alright, let's get going. I'm excited. I'm excited to see what Sam can actually do. Sam, this is Die Hard. Uh -oh. Dead men explain how to use the cuffs, right? Use them to check the location of the incinerator. Yes, that I did. So you guys also gave me a lot of tips in the last uh, part, which I really appreciate. Sam, I don't think I need to remind you, but oh, right. every minute counts when transporting you have a time limit. Forty-eight hours following cardiac arrest, they go necro and become a fresh BT to make our lives hell. Yeah, so I'm just fully holding L2 and R2 right now. I guess maybe Sam runs a little bit slower. But honestly, if I don't have to worry about balancing, that is great. Corpses are more liable to sway from side to side than regular cargo if you begin to lose your balance, yeah. And I will definitely lose my balance, I'd rather go slower. I feel like carrying a person on your back would be difficult enough, but then running while doing it, but then climbing and like, <laughs> going through rivers and stuff. Even with the country shattered and its people scattered to the four winds, she never stopped believing they could be reunited. People held on to their hope that America would rise again because they believed in her. We believe that this country can be rebuilt. America lives on, together with Bridget's undying spirit. I like that I can see where the markers are because I feel like it's a little bit easier to follow than just following the dotted line. Can we take one of those uh, vehicles, please? That would be nice. Have a pleasant journey. Oh, thank you. That's so kind of you to say. I mean, considering what we're doing, I, I don't think it's going to be too pleasant. But that looks really pretty over there. Oh, hey, are these people's names? Because I'm pretty sure I'm online right now. Ooh, what is this? Should I like it? I don't know what it is yet, though. <laughs> a 
Okay, and somebody mentioned something about the terrain yeah. also. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> okay, Sam. Um, if it's blue dots, then it's safe. If it's yellow, maybe it's a bit more unsafe. And then if it's red, it's like super danger. Probably don't cross there. <laughs> Um, but I have to remember how to check that again, actually. Let me just stop for a second. It's R1, okay. Okay, that makes sense. I know a lot of you guys watching have probably already finished this game, so I hope it won't be too frustrating watching me trying to get a hold of the controls. Wow, you can see our, uh line that we plotted going all the way up the mountain over there. Oh, this is so much nicer with the music. Oh, this is really relaxing. I like this a lot. I'm not totally sure what I'm going to do in editing yet, if I'm going to leave a lot of this traveling in. Uh, a lot of you guys said you wouldn't mind that, but I think it'll make for some really, really long episodes, like maybe too long, and I do want to try to make story progress. Um, so I might try to find sort of a happy medium between leaving some of it in. Um, okay, water. Be careful. Go straight across, what am I doing? <laughs> and then someone also said you can just stop when you're in the water till your stamina regains. There's something about this like zoomed out view that really makes you feel like sort of isolated in the world. Like, I don't know how to describe it. And Sam talking to himself, too. Whoa, look at that over there. There's stuff floating. I feel like I should have a quick look at this terrain. So this is all sort of safe, still. a ladder over there? Oh gosh, look where I've marked it over there. That is so not gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, I'm really going up right now. This doesn't seem very safe at all. It's like carefully you try to get back down here. Igor? Oh, so you could have crossed there with a ladder. Igor left a ladder. I'm gonna like it. This one's for you. <laughs> this one's for you, Igor. Setting multiple likes at once. Oh, cool. So, how exactly do the likes work? Do I only have like a certain amount of likes to give out, or I could just give as many as I want? Okay, so <laughs> maybe we need a new plan for our route. Because uh, this doesn't this doesn't seem safe. Oh, there's a bunch of ladders up there. Okay, maybe we can do it. Let's try. Try to do it. Terrain scanner. Oh yeah. Okay. Cool. This is- this is really awesome. Like, I'm super into this so far. I do think the balance thing is kind of interesting because I feel like I'm almost completely bypassing it by just holding L2 and R2 the whole time. 
Oh man, look at all the ladders. Nearby rope slaughters and other useful items to flash. Yeah. Is this safe to climb up? Okay, it's slightly treacherous over here. Oh no. Okay. Chill for a sec. Um. <laughs> I cannot believe he can climb this steep. This is insane. Hello! Oh, I missed the like opportunity. Oh, wait, it was there again. There we go. Carefully. Today's a good day. <laughs> Love the positivity, Sam. Wait, am I supposed to be? Did I, was I supposed to press something there to get on the ladder, or just walk across it? Okay. Oh, that made me nervous. So the rope is just gonna help us not fall, right? Stay up over here, maybe. Okay, you can let go now. <laughs> What's the sound? Um, where is my thing? <laughs> I don't even know where I am right now. There we are. Okay, we went a weird way, so that's fine. Um, let's plot the route from here, perhaps. <laughs> let's see what that's like. Wow, that is a gorgeous view. Oh, that's it right there, isn't it? That wasn't too bad. Uh, so that's the place. I imagine it probably gets so much more challenging as you get into the game. So if I am technically on a time limit, like, what would happen if I just did nothing? <laughs> would time ever run out? Incinerator west of Capital Knot City. Like, would she turn into a BT? Get a game over or something? <laughs> up. Don't know what that is yet. Saving, you can save current progress. Cool. Definitely gonna do that. Uh, is there a more gentle way to go down? <laughs> okay, sweet, we did our first delivery. Man, you deserve a rest after all that.
place a body in the incinerator. Okay. Oh, right, the rainbows are bad. The area is climbing rapidly. Heavy time fall is imminent. Get back here now. Uh oh. <laughs> Am I gonna Sam, have to hurry back? Burn the other cargo while you're there. What's this? BB twenty eight. It's the unit Igor was assigned. It was hooked up to you when we found you in the crater. Well, Wait, it what? Here? I don't want to burn it. Because it's flagged for disposal. Central Knot's gone, and our headquarters along with it. Because that thing didn't do its job. It's all in Igor's logs. But it's still alive. It can't be repaired. And it can't survive outside the pod. Pity it if you want, but the decision has been made. It has to go. The director approved the order. Yeah, good job, guys. Set out the rain. No, they're closing in on my position. I have to move before they realize I'm in here. Sam, if one of those things eats you, it'll trigger a void out. You'll come back, sure, but the surrounding area will still be a crater. I got an idea. Do you think? 
Oh my gosh, am I gonna have to try to avoid the things now? <laughs> that makes me super nervous. Okay, return to Capital Not City Distribution Center. <laughs> Moving slowly while crouched reduces the sound produced by your footsteps. Oh my god. Guess I'll go back the way it came. So, like, I'm super dead if one of them gets too close, right? <laughs> Scanning for BTEs, while you connect it to BB, your Aubrey deck will point toward the closest BT in a certain range. I don't know, like, how close can I get to them safely? It's coming out of my controller! I don't like that! <laughs> oh my god, why are you crying? You're gonna give us away! Okay, take a breath, Sam. Oh god. It's like my instinct just wants to like run away as fast as I can. Uh oh, something's happening. Uh oh. Okay, so it's still possible to get away. Well, that's good to know. Guess I should have been looking around more. God, why does there have to be so many? So it's just when BB's crying, right, that I have to hold my breath? Okay, I do not like that it's crying all the time. Uh, can I turn that off, possibly? <laughs> okay, hold on, I gotta check my map. Where am I going? I am going the right way, okay, good. Oh, it's probably under audio settings, right? Yes, okay. Okay, thank god. <laughs> I mean, it's still gonna be annoying. But I just really did not like that coming out of my controller. Well, I haven't, man. <laughs> this is the worst I've seen. I don't like it.
like really carefully go back down. I like that my footsteps are still there. It actually makes it way easier to figure out where I'm going. Oh my gosh, turn around. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, I almost fell off the cliff. Am I, like, far enough away from them now? Enemy induce adrenaline rushes? Enemy encounters produce a rush of adrenaline that rapidly restores stamina. Oh, cool. Drops quickly once the rush passes. Okay. Rest or drink from your canteen to recover. It's actually really cool. Oh, that's so creepy that he still has the hands on his, uh, his pack there. Do we need it? Right now, or are we okay? I feel like we're fine. Oh, I'm just gonna go back the way I came, I think. I think I'm away from them. <laughs> God, that sucked. That was so freaky. Okay, good. I get some nice, nice, uh, relaxing music now. There's something really beautiful about the juxtaposition of this terrifying world and this really, like, calming music. And, like, just watching Sam run for his life there. I have heard that this game, like, it's incredibly emotional. So that just has me intrigued enough to want to play further into it. And I think it does take quite a while to get into, like... Or to get to a point where the story gets really good. That's what I've heard anyway. So apparently it's worth sticking it out. Wow, there's a lot of people here. 42,000. I'm gonna go like this. I don't like it. This one's there you go, Nick. Sam oh, watchtowers allow you to survey the surrounding area. Oh, I should have done that. Sweet! Ah, we can go up. Jump to marker? Oh, sweet. Okay, let's get back and see well, what they have to say to me. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't believe we made it that whole way without falling.
got a little heart. Was that Sam like actually kind of smiling there for a second? <laughs> We got 47 legs. Nice. No damage. Good thing our distance is not subject to evaluation. Because I feel like I'm going to go some weird ways sometimes. Okay, we almost have a third star. Or is that just a tiny bit? Okay, we got a lot under miscellaneous. I don't really know what that means yet. Sam, I thought I told you dooms and BBs were a dangerous combination. Huh, perhaps a shower is in order. You're still covered in chiralium. Don't want the president to see you like that. The hell are you talking about? She's dead. You're upset. Is this about BB-28? Go fuck yourself. I'm not your errand boy. Well, in any event, it seems it owes you its life. No, we owe the kid our lives. You too. As you say, I shall look after it. Give my regards to the president. Um, I'm sorry, what? It's almost time to go, Sam. Here. It's a dream catcher. Wear it when you sleep, and I'll keep the nightmares away. I'll always be with you. Oh, episode two. Amelie. Stamina fully restored. That's good, man. You deserved that. Good morning, Sam. Sam, this is Die Hartman. There's a private room set aside for your use. Bridges perk. Take a moment to clean up, wash all that chirelium off, then come to the president's office. Oh my god. That was weird. I didn't like that. <laughs> okay. Use the sink. They have a toilet shower combination? That is so weird. Take a photo? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> there, I got a photo. <laughs> I wish I got one of that other face that he made. 
<laughs> oh my god, why am I spending so much time doing this? This is so weird. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> kind of love that. Ooh. Examine equipment rack. Examine table. Let's take a shower first. That's what we're actually supposed to be doing. It's conveniently blurred in that area. Oh my god, Sam. <laughs> Can you hear me? Oh, for fuck's sake. Is it anything private anymore? Oh, uh, no. Except for taking a shower and <laughs> going to the toilet, that is. I take it you were getting yourself cleaned up. Good. Come to the president's office as soon as you're done. She's waiting for you. Wow, I'd be really annoyed if I was Sam, too. <laughs> like, like, won't leave him alone for five minutes. Isolation War President's Office. You did well, Sam. Thank you. Bridget may no longer be with us, but her legacy has a chance to live on. Sam, listen to me. America. Reconstructionism. Her dream isn't dead. I don't want to hear it. This is the face of our new hope. Our new America. Homily. My mother may be gone. But I'm here. And you, Sam? You're here too. Been ten years since you saw each other, right? And in all that time, I'm just she gonna say, she looks exactly the same. Day. He knows why. My body's still on the beach. Oh. I don't get to grow older. But you do, Sam. You look good. So you're serious then about reconnecting everyone, everything? Someone has to succeed Bridget, Sam. More importantly, someone has to carry on her legacy and see our country rebuilt. Samantha America Strand, our new president. A new beginning for our people, for our nation. Under Emily's leadership, We'll re-establish the UCA, the United Cities of America. This is how we'll rebuild our country. But we'll need your help to do it, Sam. No, I'm through with this. I said my goodbyes to all of you when I said them to Bridget. We never forgot about you, Sam. You ran away. You cut us off. Emily. Put together an expedition. The best of bridges won. And went west. I led them past craters in BT territory. I kept them safe while they searched for survivors. Never once missed a BT. Saw him coming a mile away. We convinced community after community to join the UCA. And we left behind our own people to help them. It took us three years, but we managed to make it all the way to Edgenault City. All the way to the Pacific. Jesus. Yeah. But then everything went to hell. The team was wiped out, and Emily was taken. Take 
taken. I'm not being kept in a cell or anything like that. I'm allowed to use their facilities and to speak with you whenever I want. I just can't leave the city. It's all to safeguard the continued independence of Edgenot City. That's what her keepers are saying, at least. They want the UCA to leave him be. Emily's their insurance policy in case we don't. Who are these assholes again? Homo demons. Militant separatist group. They run Edgenot City. I've heard of them. Bunch of terrorists who go around towns killing people and leaving craters. Did we see one of those? Right. Nothing's off limits for them. Not even engineering void outs. You think the suicide that took out Central Knot was one of theirs? Could be. There are extremists like the demons everywhere, plotting in the shadows. They're decentralized by nature. No one organization to rule them all. Just a common ideology. I know not everyone shares our vision for the future. If we Americans don't come together again, humanity won't survive. I carried my mother's message to people all across the country. But not everyone was willing to accept it. More than a few would rather stay isolated. Keep to themselves. Go it alone. Like you, Sam. They think that America can only be rebuilt by force. By men who tell them what to do. Who take away their freedom and put them in shackles. What'd you put on me, huh? You know better than the demons. Just another kind of cult. They're not shackles, Sam. They're a symbol of our bonds. That's what we need right now. Not to stand apart, but to come together. To form Carwell Knots and reconnect. Sam, we want you to go west and finish what Emily started. The people she left behind have been hard at work, setting up Cairo network terminals. But these terminals are still isolated. We need you to bring them online. And for that, you'll need a qubit. This contains all the necessary security and operations protocols to integrate a terminal into the Cairo web. Take the qubit west, Sam and reconnect the people of our great nation. And when you get to Edgenot City, find Emily and bring her home. After that, I'll take over the presidency and carry on Mother's work to save the country. This was Bridget's dying wish. This is how we'll move forward. Please, Sam. We need you. I'm Sam Porter Bridges now. I'm not a strand. Hell, I'm not even part of this outfit. You all saw to that. I'm not getting involved with you or anyone else ever again. Wait! See? It's like I'm not even here. Same as it ever was. Sam! Sam! <laughs> Hold on. Stop! Listen to me. America needs you. Both of you. Yeah, covering the world in cable didn't bring an end to war and suffering. Don't act surprised when it all comes apart if you try to do it again. Round and round it goes. Connect, reconnect, it's not that simple. All right, all right, Sam. Just take it easy. I get it. You don't have to commit to anything now. Why not get some rest? Good idea. We all need our sleep. Leave it too long, and you're liable to reconnect with the other side. The necessary maintenance has been completed. Various adjustments and fine-tuning for your benefit. You can use it again. For once, it would seem that Dooms and BBs are a good combination. Or perhaps the two of you have something of an affinity for one another. Okay, I know I was saying that the baby is kind of creepy, but it's kind of cute also.
Sam. Listen, you are Sam Strand. No, I'm not. Not anymore. My name is Sam Porter Bridges. It's a funny word, Strand. A strand is part of rope or bond. While stranding means being washed up on the shore. And being stranded is when you can't go home. I'm stranded now, Sam. Here on the shore of the Pacific. Thousands of miles away. But our bond still holds. You're free, but we're still connected. Don't tell me we're not. Oh, he was dreaming that. Good morning, Sam. Did the dream convince him? to make a delivery. Maybe pick up some uh, more monster energy? I don't really think we need it, but we could drink it anyway, right? <laughs> Hey, dude, take it easy. Oh. Okay, I'm assuming, like, do these not, uh, get replenished, though? I don't want to, like, use them all right now. Yeah, let's put our sunglasses on. Weapon rack. Hey there. Believe we've met. I oversee delivery operations as well as maintenance and repairs. Nice to have you on board. I'm Mama, in case I didn't mention it before. Those there are strands. 
not just used for packing, by the way, but for Sam's identification Sam's blood too. is woven into Take his fibers? See. see the red there? That's your blood. How did you get my blood? <laughs> okay, is there anything else? Oh yeah, let's check on BB. Sam, this is Deadman. I calibrated your BB based on physiological data we collected from you earlier. It's still just a best guess though. After you take it out for a spin, we can check if you're in sync and tweak the BB sensitivity as needed. <laughs> I probably look kind of scary with the glasses on. Baby looks happy. With that terminal there, you can browse the bridge's database, which has info on a range of subjects. You don't have clearance for everything, but there's still plenty you might find informative. Okay, cool. So, I wonder what delivery I'm gonna make next. It just said prepare to make a delivery. Oh, equipment rack. Didn't do that yet. This case will remove any chiral matter still clinging to your suit. Uh, speaking of suits, blue is for delivery personnel, red for medical, orange for corpse disposal, okay. and black for security. I like blue. Oh wait, what was that option? Hold on. Change something. Oh sweet! I kind of like the white, actually. You know what, let's go blue, because I think we're wearing a blue suit, right? And then I guess we'll get more stuff as we go. Okay, I'm ready to make my delivery. Can I go yet? Oh yeah, I like the navy. Do we have to take a shower? Sam, Hartman here. Researcher devoted to uncovering the secrets of the beaches and the Death Stranding, as well as those of dooms and repatriates. The shower in your room was designed with chiral decontamination in mind. Chiral matter can adversely affect hormone secretion and nervous function. There's a correlation between exposure and the development of phobias, as well as in extreme cases, violent and suicidal impulses. Chirelian contamination has even been postulated as a trigger for the onset of dooms. I should add that these showers have another function, the collection of blood, hair, fluids, and other natural waste products. They provide a non-invasive means to monitor your exposure to Corellium and your overall health. And I freely admit a chance to study the unique properties of your physiology, you being a repatriate and all. I mean, I guess that's good that it's not invasive. <laughs> Could be worse. Oh, we can leave now. Okay, let's leave. <laughs> Hello, of course you're here waiting for me. What's up, man? Do you like my glasses? Well, have you had a chance to think it over? 
chock full of Kyrelium, but safe for you Dooms guys to wear. That's all you'll need to go forth and reconnect the world. To make us whole again. I'm a porter. I don't care about connecting anything. Or making knots. But I'll do what I have to, to help Amelie out. I'm interested to find out more about the backstory with their family and stuff. And why Sam left them. Listen up, Sam. The terminals Amelie's people built in the towns and cities they passed through on their journey west are called knots. The infrastructure's there, but the Cairo network is offline. Right now, it's only capable of transmitting voice communications. Sometimes wired, sometimes wireless, and a small amount of data. So, unless the necessary data stored on site, our chirograms won't show up. Emily and the other Bridges members you'd seen around the place are grams generated with local data. In case you didn't know. Anyway, all you've got to do is find the knot, connect your Cupid, and bring chiral communications online. Once you connect it to the terminal, you'll be able to initiate zero-time massive data transmission with the UCA network. And just like that, you'll reconnect us not only to each other, but to our past. All the lost and fragmented junk data will be compiled and restored. Like bringing a dinosaur back to life from a fossil. Four point six billion years of history on Earth. All the wisdom and knowledge we lost since the Death Stranding will be ours again. And that, my friend, is how we'll beat this thing. Sounds pretty confident. Once you establish Cairo communications, generating grams won't be an issue. You'll also be able to use Cairo printers. Won't be long before we're able to send all kinds of things through the wire. Except anything original. Or that's got a soul. Nothing real. Just copies. True. Which is why we'll still need porters like you. Before and after we're made whole, we'll need men in the middle. No rest for the wicked, huh? Yeah, well, idle hands and all that. We'll give you the details at the dispatch terminal. Make sure you check it upstairs. Drops waiting up there, too. These shoes look like they've done some serious miles. Shall I dispose of them? Wait. Hold on. There's something I want you to look into. My blood seemed to set those things off. Happened more than once. Set them off? How do you mean? I don't know. You took my blood, didn't you? You tell me. All right. I'll see what I can do. Hmm.
Well, even Beatty has an interesting backstory, it seems. Head west, take on a new order at Capital Knot City. Sam, this is Die Hartman. Your current objective is to extend the Cairo network from here to Port Knot City. But don't think you can make a beeline straight for it. Signal won't carry that far. To cover the distance, we need to utilize knots. Think of it like uh, tying ropes together to make a longer rope. The first of these knots is a bridge's way station. Go ahead and take a look at the order. Deliver whatever they need and connect the Cupid. Okay. Uh, take on orders. Orders for Sam. Smart drug delivery, way station west of Captain Lot City. Oh wow, that's pretty far. Sam, order summaries may contain information critical to your success. Make sure to review them before getting underway. Focus of this delivery is on the condition of the cargo. Oh man, deliver in the best condition possible. Oh, oxytocin. Effective at easing symptoms known to arise from having little interpersonal contact, such as stress and a lack of affection for others. And we have a ladder. We have four ladders. Nice. The, w the way station west of Captain Lot City is the first knot in a chain that will eventually span America. You need to deliver oxytocin boosting smart drugs to ease the stress of Bridges staff working there. Once you've done that, use your Cupid to connect the way station to the Chiral network. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, carry on back. Sam, now we've supplied you with some rope and a ladder for this run. They should help with the steeper inclines, and the ladder will also make a halfway decent bridge if you need to cross a river. Right now, I figure you're thinking about how you want to handle this order. Um, allows you to decide where and how to carry your cargo, how well you balance your load will affect your ability to walk, yeah. Can I load it all? <laughs> oh man. I guess it's not that much actually, 27.3 kilograms. Uh, I guess that's good. Sure. <laughs> Oh my god, look at that! I guess it's not that heavy, like, compared to what he can carry. But like, damn, it looks huge. <laughs> okay guys, so well, I think I'm gonna leave this episode here for now, and in the next part we will attempt to make this delivery with, uh, what is it, less than 50% damage on this cargo? Hopefully we can make it happen. Um, I feel a little bit more confident than the last part. Now knowing I can pretty easily balance holding down L2 and R2, and I got a little experience with using like ladders and ropes and that kind of stuff, and going through the water, so I'm kind of loving this so far. The story is weird, but it's interesting, and uh, I like that there's a family element to it, like I can definitely tell how that's going to get emotional, um, and I really like the character of Sam already, so I'm excited to play more and see where it goes. Anyway, for now, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next part.